Find the full text of a known article in one search. John M. Fowle Library, Cal State, San Bernardino. Sometimes you end up with a situation where you need the full text of an article and you're offline. You're not in a database. There's nothing to click on. What do you do? Well, let's take a look at some of the scenarios that might come up. You might be looking at the list of references at the end of a scholarly journal article or at the end of a scholarly book like this one and find the perfect article for your topic but nothing to click on. You might also have a handwritten note that somebody gave you or that you wrote down yourself and nowhere to click. And you might also get an assignment uh, for reading for a class meeting then this is all you've got. No full text. Ah! Fortunately, there's a very straightforward way to deal with all of these situations, and I'm going to show you just how to do that. Let's go back to our first example. Okay, what we're looking at here are the notes at the end of a scholarly book, and the title of our article here is Evidence for Neanderthal Jewelry, Modified White-Tailed Eagle Claws at Crepina. The title of the journal is PLOS 1, and then you have some other information there that we'll talk about in just a minute. So this is a really long title. I'm going to use just the first part, Evidence for Neanderthal Jewelry. And how I'm going to use that is I'm going to go to the library's website and enter that first part of the title into our OneSearch. Uh, OneSearch uh, actually searches nearly every single database that we have, and we have well over 150 databases here. Uh, and it can be very overwhelming if you're just looking for a topic, but when you have a specific article that you're looking for and you've got that title, you can use it to find that full text no matter where we have it. So I've got my search entered, and out of this drop-down menu, I'm going to choose Articles. And that launches an immediate search to find our full text. Okay, and there's our article. And we can see that we've got a link here to start finding the full text. I'm going to click on that. And in this screen, up at the top, it just repeats our citation information, the title of the article, the authors, and so forth. And the bottom part here, I'm going to scroll down, gives us the links to all the different databases where we can get that full text. And I'm going to just click on that first one. And now we are on a landing page for our article. In this particular database, if we scroll down a little bit, we can see the abstract and then the plain HTML full text down below. We also have, up here at the top, the PDF for the full text that we can read online, or the PDF with the full text that we can download. So we've got a lot of choices here, and that's just the way that this particular database sets it up. All right. I'm going to show you one other option with this particular example. Let me go back to that first screen again. And notice that in addition to the title of the article and the title of the journal, we also have a DOI, a Digital Object Identifier. This is a special number and some letters there that identifies just that one article. And if you prefer to enter that instead of the title, you can do the same search, but with the DOI. And so here I've entered the DOI. And again, we will click on Articles. And again, we find our full text in the same way. Going on to our second example, the handwritten note. 
Here, the title of the article is On Dormancy Strategies in Tardigrades. You've got your author, and you've got the journal that it's in, the Journal of Insect Physiology, your volume, your issue, and your pages. Okay, let's run a search for this one. Again, I'm going to OneSearch, and I'm putting in the complete title this time because it's a relatively short one. Again, I'm going to click on Articles. And a search is launched. And once again, we find our article, and we have the full text available link. And we get one of those screens that we saw before, with a repeat of uh, what we're looking for there up at the top, and then the links to the databases down below. In this case, it's only in one of our databases, Science Direct Journals, and so I'm going to click on that. And off we go to that different database. And although it looks very different, the database is trying to do that same job of getting that full text to you. You have the download PDF right up here. And you can scroll down and see the abstract and then the plain HTML text down below there. All right. Our third example is the assigned reading for the next class meeting. So here we're seeing the authors, the title of the article, Touching a Teddy Bear Mitigates Negative Effects of Social Exclusion to Increase Pro-Social Behavior. That's a long one. And this is the journal, Social Psychology and Personality Science the volume, the issue, and the pages. Okay, since we have such a long title here, what we can do, and because maybe the first part of the title is, you know, not that distinctive in its words, we're going to do a combination search of part of the title and one of the author's last names. Just another strategy that you can use. And back to one search, and so we put in Touching a Teddy Bear, and the last name, Zeng, and search articles. And again, there's our article with full text available. And just as we saw before, we have the link now to a different database where the full text for this article lives. And here's the landing page for this article in this particular database. You can scroll down and see the abstract and the plain HTML text after that. And then down here in the bottom, we've got the button that lets you download the PDF. I want to show you one other example that we haven't looked at yet. What happens when you don't find the full text. And let me go to the library's website. And this time I'm going to put in another combination search. Laughter Therapy is the title of the article, and it's by a fellow named George Winter. And click on Articles. Okay, so we found a match for what we typed in. But instead of full text available, we're getting delivery options. Well, don't let that put you off. I'm going to click on delivery options. And it's telling you that we do not have a copy of this available in full text. It gives you a suggestion that you might uh, check for a free version in Google Scholar. Sometimes you get lucky. Let's see if we do. 
and we're not getting lucky here. Uh, these are different titles, and we're not seeing any HTML or PDF over here. Okay, so we're going to back up, and we'll go with the second suggestion, get this article through interlibrary loan. Notice over here that it gives you a reminder that the PDFs of the full text will be delivered to your account, and that's your interlibrary loan account, in two to three working days. Uh, there's no charge for that, so if you do get in a situation where you find delivery options instead of full text available, you can still get that article if you order it through our interlibrary loan service. And that is the end of the video, Find the Full Text of a Known Article in OneSearch. Good luck with your research.